Take three. All right, everyone. Welcome back to our rules snippets for Blaze in the Dark. We're doing a deep dive into deep cuts, harm, and trauma changes. So with harm, we're going to go through some of the changes. It is still the four ranks, four being lethal, three being de debilitating, two is lasting wounds, and one has changed to temporary harm conditions. So what does that mean? Well, for numbers, you can have as many level one harms as you want, but if two match, they become a rank two. Um, there's still only two, twos, one, three, and four will kill you if you do not overcome. With that, it has changed a bit. So it is not on every roll. It's when they're invoked, they cause a, the GM can cause certain things. For example, reducing effect or potency or reducing the rating of the skill being used. Finally, they could create a new threat or problem. That might not make, make much sense till we get to the action portion, but there we are. So, when a rank 1 is invoked one or two times, you're likely to recover. Uh, rank 2 requires rank two and up still requires actual recovery. As for recovery, a character, your rank 1s recover when either used or dealt with or... When you hit downtime, all your rank ones disappear. You can tough it out after a consequence. After a harm is invoked, you can attempt to tough it out, taking one stress per harm and removing it. You will need to recover it, but it can't be invoked again during that session. And finally, actual recovery, taking time to go see a doctor. Downtime has changed to not have rolls anymore, so it is a straight up adding your tier, crew tier plus one to your recovery clock. Now, if you have a physicer on board, they start at quality two, and a coin can be spent in addition to their efforts to increase the number of ticks on the healing clock for that. All right. And with that, we get to trauma. So the big thing is trauma is invocable. This can have the similar effects as harm. A uh, character can certainly suggest when a trauma would be invoked, causing problems. Another big change is when your stress bar fills and you get a new trauma, you do not leave the scene. You have that mental break. You are still able to act and finish things. And the last is another. Now, all these are optional rules, but they all kind of intertwine together. This last one seems the most optional is recovery. You can set long term projects to start recovering trauma. It is just this be very personal. As my own little caveat, I'd almost suggest that once you fill the clock, you need some kind of score or something to kind of work through the last bit of trauma before it's removed from your sheet. All right, this is one of our deep dives in the rule snippets, looking at harm and trauma out of deep cuts. I hope this has helped some people. I'd love to hear thoughts. And until next time, be safe out there. Bye for now.